Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have rightfully regained my top one spot, but we are only 27 elo away, guys, from 6,000, which has never been hit in the game, I'm pretty sure. So let's see if we can do it. Also, guys, all no 19 win streak right now. So let's see if we can get 20 as well in this video. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, for our first match here against 328 speed. I don't know who this is, but um, good luck to you. And go and Dartling and G Farm. Of course, looks like they're with their ice tower there, so fair enough. We'll get my um engineer down right here, of course. And yeah. Going to Zeely, as always, I I have pretty much always switched to Zeely now. I feel like it's just better than Oban. Um, obviously, they both have their own advantages, but I feel like Azealia is better. Good place sat down right there as well next to Scotty, dude. Scotty needs a little friend, you know. Scotty does need a little friend to kind of help him out. He gets lonely. Scotty does get a little lonely. So if you like Scotty, guys, please give Scotty some love in the comment section down below. Also, let's see if we get five likes on today's video. I would appreciate that a lot, guys, because hit the hidden like button helps me out. You know, hidden like button helps me out for the YouTube algorithm, so... Yeah. Also, you can comment as well while you're down there, you know. That would be appreciated. But I got my um, oversized nails here. Got my oversized nails. We'll get pin here in a little bit. Just don't want to slow down my eco with it. Nice. Get pin as well. But what do we think they're bringing? Because I know they brought Churchill, which is interesting. Churchill is an interesting hero. So Churchill and Ice. So it could be... Well, it could be Heli Ice, dude. It could be Heli Ice. I know people, when they go Heli Ice in this map, they go Churchill with it. So that would be an interesting strategy if it is. Uh, my friend, um, your Dunk, he has a YouTube channel. He goes Heli Ice all the time. So if you know him, he's a pretty cool guy. But yeah, let's get double gun here. Nice. Um, I think we'll be fine against this. He's gonna it's gonna cause some leakage on my side, but not too much, hopefully. Not too much leakage. Just because it was layered over the blue balloons a little bit. But yeah, we're good. I actually did barely leak that all, dude. Look at that. We've only leaked down to like 135, which is not bad. It's not bad here. Alright. Oh, also I should stop sending blue balloons. I sent way too many blue balloons. I need to be cautious with my eco, because well, actually no, because Normally, the thing about Oasis is it normally gets anti stalled a ton, so I can't eco that much to still get my trap up. But since he has Churchill, and the Churchill's all the way in the back of the map, guys, I can actually probably find sending that many blue balloons with getting my trap up, because the rounds aren't going to be anti stalled as much, which is fantastic for us. It's honestly fantastic for us, so I like that. Alright, they got their farm down. Well done, well done. Continue ecoing with this stuff. We need about three income boosts, and then I'll be Gucci to get my uh, trap up two income boosts okay look at this look at this guys we're gonna do something really high iq here so he's sending me white balloons right which um are gonna force my trap obviously but look what we're gonna do look what we're gonna do we're gonna my trap up and then i put this guy on close actually so then um wait actually no we want to spawn first oops that was bad that was bad that was bad that was bad, that was bad. never mind never mind it wasn't high iq i thought the trap would spawn at the bottom spot all right it would have been high iq if the trap spawned at the bottom spot but spawned at the top spot which kind of messed up my plan all right Kind of messed up my plan there, so we're fine. We're fine, though, at the end of the day. And it is Heli. Okay, so it is Heli, Ice, and Churchill with farm. So I guessed the strategy correctly, because I'm the best of the game. We'll um, get this increased production here, farm here in a little bit. Get the increased production farm, you know what I'm saying? I got the gray border on that farm there. Once we upgrade again, though, we'll get the yellow border. and be looking a little bit more spicy there. There we go. I like I like the look of that farm a lot more than the previous farm look, to be honest here. To be honest. It's funny how you get the Zeely um, Heartstopper ability like so early on the leveling because you don't have to worry about regrows for a while so like pretty much there's just a bunch of rounds where the ability is kind of just like useless there which is interesting you know what i'm saying it's a bunch of rounds where the ability is just not just chilling there doing nothing for you just chilling there doing absolutely nothing for you but yeah we're gonna farm, get another farm down i might send him some zebras next round i don't really know i think we just are gonna win late against the strategy so i'm not gonna be too aggressive even though they probably are gonna be susceptible to some mid game rushes I think that's just the best play here. But we'll send them some zebras. See if this forces a razor rotors or something. I don't know how good this um defense is. They could also just use probably Churchill ability to be fine. Or they might just be fine with the current defense. I don't know. Maybe I balloon boost. Okay, yeah, we forced a rotors. That's actually great. That's what I kind of wanted out of him. So we forced it. That's cool. That's cool with me. That is cool with me. Collect that trappy. Upgrade the dartling. If they rush me next round, I upgrade the sentry guns and I boost. Let's see if they rush. Doesn't appear so. If they rush me next round with um camo balloons now, I will sell a farm and get out my HRP. But we'll see. They send me a bit bunch of camos. If they just send me camo leads, my Zeely deals with those, so. My Zeely is pretty clutch there. They aren't rushing me. Fair enough. They got their um they got their ice shards up. Well done, well done. Look at my eco. My eco's actually pretty good because I got a full uh, round of space rainbow eco in, which is fantastic. All right, we're gonna stop at a thousand eco here. Let's just get it real quick. Just get my thousand eco up. Nice, nice, nice. He still is not rushing me, so I'm gonna go for a farm. It's probably a little greedy here. We'll boost this. 
Yeah, I don't know if I needed to boost that, to be honest. I was just a little bit scared. We'll have Totem for a rerush, so I think I'll be finding it's a rerush, but um, I was just a little bit scared because I got my HRP late against that rush. And obviously, we're on a 19 win streak, guys. We can't be taking risks here. So, not sure if the boost was needed there, but um, just boost to be safe. Oh, why am I still ecoing? It's just, I guess it's just muscle memory at this point. Should just, you're fine at 1,000 eco. They already have a decent amount of defense down, so it's like, I mean, I guess I could rush them and probably force an Embrit or a Cryo Cannon or a boost or something, but like, is there really a point? Is there really a point to continue to rush them, guys? Look at this, all the sentries are down. Okay, except that one. These sentries are down, which are gonna help us out against rushes as well. It's great when it places the sentries to like the left here, because I can keep them up and they'll help against like mobs and stuff a lot. So, yeah nice little thing our totem will buff everything as well if he rushes me so yeah we're we're in a decent position here i'd say we're in a good position we'll just vibe on and start saving up for my central market at this point i think this is the plan of things start saving up for that central market as early as humanly possible here <clears throat> excuse me sorry i had to clear my throat real quick you know been doing some activities lately just kidding just kidding um yeah we're about 5k away Getting close. So they obviously have a farm lead, which is expected. My strategy always gets out farmed early game, guys, because one, my opponent has like 400 eco, so their eco's terrible. But two, it's pretty expensive early game. But later, I'm definitely gonna catch up because uh, I can get overclocked farms and um, yeah, we have the eco lead. So my, it always looks bad early because you're like, oh, Ryan, you're getting absolutely railed on farms. What are you doing? But that's just how it is, just guys. It's just how it is with the strategy. All right, round 19. See if they send me a rush. This is a round where people rush often, so Let's see. Oh, okay. Fair enough. They sent me a big rush. What I'd probably do is get a buckshot down, believe it or not, with my um hydrocopods. Because the buckshot, if you have the totem buff on it, which increases pierce, actually is really good. Increased pierce helps out the buckshot a ton from the totem. So buckshot and HRP with the trap is pretty, pretty golden combination. Not going to cap. Not going to cap here. Let's collect that. See if I can get this farm. Nice. Also, we want to make sure that these insides go into the thing. So I'm going to actually target it away. So only ceramics get inside of the trap. Beautiful. Look at that. We'll retarget you. We'll use my buckshot tech against this BFB. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Get some of those down. We'll go for a buckshot right here. Clear this obstacle out. All right. They got their monkey wall. I could have got, I could have got my monkey wall street this round, to be honest. But I'm just playing safe. This should defend pretty easily. Yep, that defends. All right. What I actually can do, guys, believe it or not, is I can get an overclock, overclock this farm, and then sell my overclock. Since I have extra money this round, I can sell my overclock and then um get my thing up. Wait, do I even need to sell my overclock? No, I don't. I'm good there. I don't even have to sell my overclock. Okay, that's fine. boost this all right we almost died there because the round wouldn't end but we're good <laughs> that was my heart my heart skipped the beat there guys my heart skipped the beat i was i was he i was um pounding on that monkey wall street money to come in but the monkey wall street money did not come in so i had to i had to do a little bit of micro there but we're good at the end of the day good at the end of the day there all right all right sending me a normal zmg which is interesting because i do have hex with my um load out here so I don't know about that sin there, but see how it plays out for them. Basically, all you do is wait for two damage stages, guys, and then you wait a little bit longer uh, just to be safe, and then you use the Hex ability is how I like to do it. There's one damage stage. The second damage stage should come pretty soon. There's two. Wait a little bit longer. And now we use that Hex ability, and this should be gone. Should be a goner. There we go. Perfect. I probably will just triple XL the second one because I'm gonna need my triple XL for DDTs anyways. And then if I just triple XL the ZMG as well, I'm gonna get five thousand dollars from the ZMG. So it makes sense for me just to triple XL this one. I think at this point, I think that just makes sense logically speaking. Speaking from a logic side of things, makes sense to get triple XL here. We can overclock this farm near the end of the round as well, and we'll be Gucci. Well, we're going to wait, though, to triple XL it, because we do want them to send me um, DTs as well, if possible. Because obviously, if they send me DTs, they're going to be spending money on that, which is good for me. So, let's see if they send me DTs as well here. Send me DTs, send me DTs. Alright, they didn't. Fair enough. <laughs> I 
I wanted him to, but oh wait, I shouldn't sell. I shouldn't sell that um thing right there. We want to have double something foam just to be safe. To be safe there. We're gonna have my banana central here pretty soon. I'm gonna sell. I can sell my HRP as well because we have up our thing now. All right, overclock this farm. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Maybe we retarget the trap. Get some extra money there. Nice. We got this thing up. Beautiful. Let's see if they rush me this round. Doesn't appear so. We'll overclock that. All right, we got grit coated farms now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some darlings down just in case, just preemptively, in case they send stuff. I think this is probably the type of opponent to send me all out the MGs round 30, so I just need to be ready to defend those. If I'm not ready to defend those micro everything, then it can get a little spooky, guys. But if I'm ready, then it should be no big deal. Yep, they're sending them. He said good game. All right, I. Oh, I boosted against it. I thought it was going to be all out zoom. I thought it was going to be all out um things right there. All right, yeah, it is. Okay. Wait, they're not sending. They didn't even send me very many. What the heck? I definitely expected more. Um. Definitely expected more than that, to be honest. All right, well that's an easy defend. We just use totem here as well, just to be safe. And get Ray of Doom up as well, because we can afford it. Yep, yeah, that's a GG. That's a GG. Cool, cool, cool. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll send them some DTs here. Just to end it off. And we'll see how much ELO we got from that one. Wait, what the heck? I got 47 ELO. What? Bro. Who did I play? Wait, what was their name? They must have been high on the leaderboard, right? That's insane. 6,020 ELO. Yeah, they're 14th. Oh, I didn't even realize like I was so high on the leaderboard. Wow. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it, 6,000 ELO. Well, we'll play one more just for the fun of it, guys, because we don't want a short video here, so yeah. All right, guys, for our next match here, we are against Noble Squire 2479. Um, same exact map here, same exact strategy, of course. You know, I'm gonna be playing Darling Energy Farm a lot of times in my video, guys. So, so if you don't like this strategy, I I'm just gonna apologize. I'm trying to get top one here, so, and this is the best strategy for some of these maps, in my opinion, so I'm gonna be using it, all right? If you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, start with my engineer and my Azili here. I'm probably just gonna skip over till like round 13-ish because you've seen this early game plenty of times on my channel. So I'll catch you all then. Let's do it. All right, guys, it is now round nine here. Targeting my trap to collect it mid-round. You know the vibes. Send them some zebra balloons here. Not gonna send too many. I just wanna force their um, Druid of Wrath upgrade. We're also gonna balloon boost these for an extra pressure because don't really rush much during these games. So I'm fine to balloon boost just to, you know, add some extra pressure there, make him force his upgrade pretty easily and then um go back to black blue nico and get my dartling ready here you know the vibes see if this druid player is aggressive here have to be ready for the rushes all right doesn't appear they're rushing this round they may rush next round though in which case i have to sell farm probably they got their reactor nice 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 get that farm up i mean get that dartling up i probably actually didn't need it there that was a pretty small rush so that was, it was a good sized rush on them their part to force that um but yeah, we're vibing now. I probably could have just gotten up a 0-2-2 Dartling against that and defended. That would have definitely been the play in hindsight here. That definitely would have been the play in hindsight. Select this mid-round. Nice. One, one, one. Oh, also we want, yeah, our totem's ready. Our totem's ready in case we need it. Like 1100 eco here, probably. That would be a solid amount that I'd be happy with. So we'll get that. There you go. 1100 on the freaking dot, ladies and gentlemen. On the freaking nose. All right, we love that. I do want to get um faster engineering on this as well in a little bit, just so then we'll go for a farm first, but then I'll get faster engineering just so then one, it helps me out with Moab rushes and two, the trap comes back faster, which is the more important part. They obviously have a huge out farm at the start. That's how it always is, guys. That's what we got to deal with with our strategy. All right, so don't hate on me in the comment section. Ryan, you're getting absolutely obliterated, railed on farms. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, they got their first central market up. Well done, well done. I have thought about maybe going for a buckshot for mid game instead of going for an HRP. Cause this can hit camo leads and buckshot's cheaper. That could be a play. I haven't really tested the tech yet, but buckshot might be the play. Cause that would make everything cheaper for me on those mid game rounds, like round 12. It'd be cheaper if that makes sense and buckshot with the totem is really strong as well so that will help against those rush rushes too should be fine against that moab eat the ceramics nice and i think it's next round i get my monkey wall sheet up they might get theirs this round which is totally fine 
Yeah, it looks like they're getting round 21. I'll get round 22, which is fine with me. That is fine and dandy with me, ladies and gentlemen. Because we have a massive equal lead, plus we can catch back up with overclocked farms. So, no big deal. Totem and Buckshot defends this. Boost, because I'm scared. Got that up, because I'm the best in the game. Alright, that's how you do it. Oh, man. They sent me a big boy rush there as well. They are trying to stop my Monkey Wall Street. They didn't time their rush very well, though, because they did it before... At, like, the middle of the round, not at the end of it. You know what I mean? Overclock that farm. And look at that, guys. Just like that, we're tied in farms. Well, actually, I have an overclock working from my farms as well, so I'm ahead in farms by a lot. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what's the next plan? I'm thinking about maybe selling my Monkey Wall Street for a Banana Central at the end of this round. I don't know if that'd be worth... To be honest. No, I think I'll just do the normal thing and not do that. Our normal route of farming is pretty good, so... We're not gonna play around with selling stuff. We're not gonna we're not gonna jo josh around like that, guys. We're not gonna josh around, all right? My name's Ryan, not Josh. You know what I'm saying? But we do probably want to force their um, what's it called, superstorm next round if possible. Be nice, and they're gonna probably force my uh, triple XL, which is kind of the normal route of things. Kind of how the cookie normally crumbles here. Let's see if we can get this overclock down before the round ends. That would be absolutely fantastic. And we do, because I'm the best in the game. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, see if he sends me the DDT balloon. I expect it. I'm just going to upgrade that, and if he sends it, I'll sell my um, Monkey Wall Street. No. Alright, that does not seem smart in my opinion. I definitely would send DDT if I were him. Okay, we should send them some, though. Force their Super Storm up. All right, that should be enough. Beautiful. All right, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. At the end of this round, I can get my triple XL, which I'm gonna do for sure. Nice. And we have a massive farm lead now, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. He, they made a pretty big mistake, by the way, of not sending me DTs on round 26. Because all you need to do is send one DDT, and I'll force my triple XL and make it so I can't get up my other second tier farm, second, fifth tier farm, you know what I mean? So not doing that is a big mistake on my opponents then. Alright, let's prepare my triple fifth tier dartlings, you know the vibes there. Looks like they're going to go for defense, which again, I don't think is smart because I'm making so much more money for my farms than they are. So what we can just do here guys is continue to send them and they're going to be spending more money defending, well, they're going to just get drained on money because I can continue sending and they can't continue defending, basically. I assume they're gonna counter me. I actually went for their Avatar of Wrath. Okay, they're not gonna counter me. Then they are just gonna die to my rush. Wait. Nope, they sold everything. Yep, they're just gonna try to defend. Which again is not smart. Alright. There we go. There we go. Let me have some fun as well. All right, we're Gucci there. And GG, ladies and gentlemen. G freaking G. Let's see how much ELO we got and where we stand at the end. All right, we got 10 ELO from that match, so it was a lower opponent. And um, it appears we are at 6,030 ELO in first place. So if you guys enjoy the videos and um enjoy my road to T1 this season, then hit the subscribe button as always. But that is for today. Rhyme like out. Peace, lads.